that's the thing. There is no real separation between this account and other um, inside accounts that we've heard about before. It, if anything, it just strengthens those accounts. I mean, if you look at some of the claims made in this account, it's very, very familiar from what we've already heard. Trump being belligerent to his subordinates, that's something we heard from Omarosa when she put out her tell-all account. Uh, when you talk about um, um, officials hiding things from Trump in order to make sure that he didn't mess things up, we just heard that from Bob Woodward. And uh, um, an atmosphere of chaos and dysfunction, that's something we heard from Michael Wolff way back in January when he published his book, Fire and Fury. All of these narratives are working together to paint a picture of, of um, incompetence and just dysfunction within the Trump administration. And it um, they just constantly just bring up uh, officials trying to basically shield the rest of the world from Trump. And you have to ask yourself just not only how many of these stories are still out there waiting to be published, but how long will it take for lawmakers to take a serious look at all of these accounts and do something about it? And since this article came out, the hashtag 25th Amendment has uh, started trending on Twitter. Why is that? Well, the 25th Amendment of the U.S. Constitution basically outlines the protocol for what happens if a president has to step down. It basically um, outlines the uh, the lineage of, of a president basically having to leave office, whether it's due to death or sickness or um, just general incompetence. Um, once, this news once this New York Times article started making the rounds, many people started calling on lawmakers to take more concrete and permanent steps to deal with Trump because, as it's stands right now, many people feel that Trump is simply unfit to be president. And this story coming right, coming out right on the heels of Bob, Wood, Bob Woodward's story just seems to cement that fact. So many people are calling on lawmakers now, as I've said, to be more forceful in how they deal with this, because in many people's minds, Trump just basically is not capable of being president.